Hey everybody, I thought I'd come on today and talk to you a little bit about Dysis recti for runners who have also had babies. Core is so critical for runners. It is like even more critical for us who are running moms. If you don't know me, I'm Kiri Adam. I'm a physiotherapist. I am a holistic living coach. I'm a run coach. I specialize in postnatal running, getting you guys back up and running strong, connected to your cores. Um, I'm a marathoner. I'm a busy mom of two. And I want you guys running strong and safe. I don't want you guys destroying your bodies, okay? So we're gonna start with after babies. I'm outside, it's windy and loud. But after, ba right, we grow these babies in our bellies, right? And we pull our rectus abdominis, our big abdominal muscle, it gets stretched and it tears away from the midline. And it leaves a gap, you guys, you know? Um, and then when we have that baby, the tissues go back, but those those muscles don't get reattached very quickly and easily and if we don't work on it and if we do certain exercises we actually make that gap bigger and worse and that's what I did after babies. Um, signs and symptoms that you have a diastasis recti that there is a gap there is that you pee when you run, you feel like maybe your pelvic floor isn't working, you feel like things are falling out, you have hip pain, you have knee pain, like things just aren't working when those muscles aren't together and attached and we're not training them properly our pelvic floor isn't contracting properly and we are not functioning properly we need to get connected to our cores and fix that gap so a way to test for it is you can just try relax those abs and stick your fingers in the middle so there's going to be down the midline and there's you can feel how deep you can go how wide that gap is so if you lie on your back my sign that i had a diastasis recti before i realized what was happening was I had a bulge. Anytime I did a crunch, a plank, um, a push-up, I had this bulge, like alien, all the way down. And I finally was like, okay, it was getting worse because I was going to these boot camps, right? I was doing crunches, push-ups, planks, and that bulge kept getting bigger and bigger. So I needed to research what the heck was going on in my body. And I had a massive diastasis recti. When I ran fast or when I got tired, I peed um, when I was running. Signs that you have a dysfunctional core and we need to connect to it. So to test if you have it, I'm just going to lie on your back and just lift your head up a little bit and see how many fingers you can get in there and how deep you can go. Okay, one or two fingers, fine. I have about a one, two. In some places I still have a three finger gap. It can be functional or it can be non-functional. I have a three finger gap, but I don't ever pee when I run anymore. I don't have pelvic pain. Things aren't feeling like they're falling out so you need to put those pieces together if you have any um, questions or you think you need to see someone one-on-one -on -one, pelvic health physiotherapist is who you need to see again warning signs you pee when you run you have pelvic pain hip pain undescribed pain low back pain um, that doesn't seem to be getting better you feel like things are falling out right pelvic prolapse that happens because these muscles are stretched and are not allowing that pelvic floor to contract efficiently. Now this is stuff as runners that is very important for us to know and it's not talked about anywhere in any other running community that I know of. So I want you guys in tune with that body. Um, so exercises to avoid that you're gonna be doing at all your baby boot camps, you're gonna be doing at all your online run programs um, that you wanna avoid are crunches, planks and push-ups and like bicycle crunches. So. Um, First off, a crunch, right? A standard crunch that comes up. That's actually just gonna, because these structures are weak and not holding you in, you're just pushing, putting all that pressure down into your abdomen and all of those abdominal contents are being pushed out. So it's not helpful for you, it's making everything worse. And instead of going, doing that exercise to get a flat stomach, you're just pushing everything out, making it worse. So you don't wanna be doing crunches, you guys. Um, same with like the bicycle style crunches. Again, this isn't strong enough to hold you and that abdominal contents are pushing out against that weakened structure into that gap, making it worse. Um, what else do you want to avoid? You want to avoid um, push-ups, straight push-ups like this. Again, when I used to do this, I had this, I wish I had taken photos, but it was a, a gap, or not a gap, it was a bulge all the way down my belly and that was where my gap was in my diastasis recti and my abdominal contents were literally pushing out of my body and making it worse from all the pressure that I kept putting on it. So I had to pull back and I haven't done a crunch um, for years 
I've gotten myself fixed up. I've shortened that gap because of just st strategic core work that I've done over time um, to fix that, to heal that. And now I'm back to doing push-ups and planks, but in my programs that I put together for you guys, I start you all off at the wall, okay? You need to connect to that core. And as runners, we need to be doing more. We need to be dynamic. We need to be tuning into our body. It is just like so critical, you guys. So sorry, I lost track here. The other one you want to avoid is the push-up because it's, if you're not strong enough, those tissues aren't gonna be there to hold you and the abdominal cavities are pushing out and they're just separating, making that separation even worse. And then the other one uh, is just a standard plank, you know, just a standard plank. You're not strong enough to hold that and you're pushing it out, making it worse. So those are exercises to avoid, crunches, planks, push-ups. Um, there's a lot of core work you can do that is way better than any of those exercises that is also functional and dynamic in a way that we as runners specifically need because running is high, di it's dynamic, it's um, high impact it requires our muscles our breath our core all coordinating so there's I have a whole core fit series in my 28 day get fit lean and learn to run challenge and it is designed for you if you're a beginner runner or you're an advanced runner who's never done proper core work after babies if you are leaking during your running if you are having pain um, these exercises I've put together are safe for you after you see, of course, a public health physiotherapist because I can't assess, diagnose, and manage you online, but I can give you some amazing tips to help you fix that gap, get you connected to your core. When you fix that gap, your pelvic floor is going to start to contract better. You're going to have more mind-body connection with that core so that you're going to have less urinary incontinence when you're running also included in the in the get fit lean and learn to run 28 day challenge is a, a form video series so improving your form naturally it's going to help you to contract your pelvic floor better to connect to your core better just by how you're holding your body and how you're connecting your breath to your core while you're running and while you're doing this exercise set so if you haven't signed up those spots are filling up really quickly um it's an amazing program that I've custom put together. I know it works because I've taken myself from a pretty significant gap and urinating when I run and having back pain to running super fit, super strong, um, super happy with my where my body is right now and how it's, it's handling the loads that I'm pushing on it because I do love to push it, but it's taken me five years to get to this point and it's taken all of my knowledge to put these programs together. Um, and it, it's not easy, it takes work, it takes commitment, it takes focus, it takes a shift of mindset because as runners we always think more miles is better. Um, and that's not true, we need to sometimes pull back and do what's right for our body now so that we can be, be better later on, right? Like it's not about the half marathon, it's not about the marathon, it's about connecting to the core, getting strong in your core so that you can run those later, those distances later on and keep your body healthy and safe and happy, you guys. Um, I'll put the link below if you want to join the 28-day program. Thanks for the love. Um, super proud of this program, and it is selling out. I've already filled half the spots in it. It starts July 3rd, and I would love to have you in with us and learning how to train to run my way. Have an awesome day.